Hello, Facebook Truth Seekers. I want to start off by saying that our Savior, our King, is so amazingly awesome and is worthy of all praise. And his name is Jesus. What I'm going to share with you is a very personal experience that on the surface, it appeared to be an absolutely horrible one. But God used it to set me on a path of discovery and set my feet to run for that which involves truth and mercy at its core. And it is the very foundation that I testify of today. When I was 15 years old, I worked for a program called the Governor's Summer Youth Program, and it allowed teens to work over the summer for money, which was used to buy school clothes or whatever we wanted. I worked for the city of Williamson, and there we cut grass, all trash and garbage. And one day, while on lunch at the office building, my boss, who was an apostolic preacher, he's an older fellow. And for those who don't know what an apostolic is, they believe in Jesus only. And he began to talk about the Bible, and then he began to question me about the Bible. Even at a, at a young age, I loved having conversations that involved God's Word. The Lord put that desire in me, and it continues today. He asked me if I believe in the Trinity teaching, and I told him, yes, I believe that the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are separate but one. We began discussing the topic in depth, and he, and he made a sarcastic remark to me. And I, being young, returned the gesture with a statement myself. And I reminded him that when Jesus was baptized, there was a voice from heaven that said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. I then made the comment that I did not think that Jesus was a ventriloquist. He then, at that moment, got very upset with me and called me a walking serpent. And when he said that to me, it broke me. For this man had no idea how much that hurt me. He unknowingly just called a young teenager whose mom and dad died nine months apart, who lost his home not once but twice by floods, who had to endure physical and sexual abuse by different family members, and who quite frankly didn't care if he lived or died one day to the next. But God was my refuge. And I went home that evening and I cried out to God with tears streaming down my face. I put my hand on the Bible and I said, God, I don't care about this or that belief. I just want to know the truth of your word. I don't care where it leads me. You see, this fatherless boy was in desperate need of acceptance and love from other people. And from that time forward, God began writing his word on my heart. And I thank God it has never departed. And that's why I'm so excited about this forum. Truth Seekers has been my lifelong cry. It's been, it's been part of me. And what I intend to do on this forum is to tell you what my questions were while I was in those other denominations that I, that I covered in the previous video. And compare it to how I read scripture today. I ask that the Lord may bless you every one of you and may the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. Shalom.